crime you think but then what is the wi-fi in kerala that is famous and that what is it you are using so the, the the popular wi-fi is k phone i am using bsnl you are using geo no bsnl bsnl wi-fi oh what is the speed you get in that um, internet so i am using the bandwidth of 100 mbps but i think you will get around 50 60 na no? No, sir. It's uh, two frequencies are here: two point five hertz and uh, gigahertz, and uh, five fifth, uh, five gigahertz. And I am now using five gigahertz, which gives us a speed of hundred Mbps. Oh, and super! And the two point five will give us fifty Mbps. Very two, good. Two frequencies Excellent. are used. Excellent. That's really good. Yes, sir. You are getting hundred Mbps. That will be a good speed. What about Shika? What is it you are using? Shika, you are using. Which type, which broadband, or you are depending on mobile internet? Sir, I am using Wi Fi. Wi Fi, very good. Which companies? Sir, it's my local only. Local? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Nandu Krishna. Good. Sona, Philip. I think all of you are from only Kerala. Redmi, you are also from Kerala? Sir, I am from Delhi. Delhi. So, um, which part of Delhi do you live? I am in northwest of Delhi. Oh, what is the name of the area? Rohini. Ah, I know that. I have heard it. I have not visited it, huh? but I know it. I know Rohini, Janakpuri, something like that. Is yeah. Janakpuri near to Rohini or far away? Sir, Janakpuri is nearby to Rohini. Achha, achha. Good, good. I was Sir, I am from Tamil Nadu. Achha, you which part of Tamil Nadu? Uh, Tutukurin, sir. Oh, very good. Yeah. Um, so, Tutukurin means I am always reminded of one movie. Anubhavi, Raja Anubhavi. Nagesh acted okay. in that Manorama also. Long back. <laughs> And uh, okay. Muthukuli Kavari Hela, something like that. <laughs> that is, um, I hear about it, this. Yeah, song. it's a good, good, good song. Good. Yeah. What is it you have studied? Electronics and Communication Engineering, sir. From which college? Uh, Vivos Engineering College, Tutukudi. Tutukudi, very good, very good. Excellent. Yeah. Good. Now, we will start with, uh, what is your name? Ready? Aishwarya, sir. Aishwarya, good. Aishwarya Roy. Yeah, please start with question number um, 71. Ah, okay. So, can I read the question? Yeah, yeah, you have to read the question. If you work as a placement officer of an educational institution, you are there to the policy permitting candidates to hold multiple job offers. However, you noticed a concern among the recruiters, a significant number of candidates selected and uh, are declining offers and not joining the organization. They initially accepted, partially leading to a decline in campus visits by recruiter in the future. How will you deal with the Situation should be in the initially accepted, yeah. Um, oh. Partially leading to a decline in campus visits by a recruiter in the future. How will you deal with the situation? Yeah, one mm -hmm. minute. I we will ask uh, uh, Subiksha also to read. Subiksha, read it again. Subiksha. Are you seeing on the screen Subiksha 71? Subiksha, our internet is not all right. Arya, you please read. Question number 71. Okay, sir. If you work as the placement officer of an educational institution, you are there to a policy permitting candidates to hold multiple job offers. However, you noticed a concern among the recruiters. A significant number of candidates selected are declining offers and not organization. They initially accepted. Partially no, no, leading no, no, to a decline. Sentence, I think it's, however, you noticed a concern among recruiters. A significant number of candidates selected are declining offers. 
and not joining the organization they initially correct only acha it was correct mm -hmm. they initially accepted ah uh, continue partially you read full read from the beginning they if initially were, accepted partially leading to a decline in campus visits ah uh, correct if you uh, work as the placement officer of a educational institution you adhere to a policy permitting candidates to hold multiple job offers however you noticed a concern among the recruiters a significant number of candidates selected are declining offers and not joining the organization they initially accepted partially mm. leading to a decline in campus visits by recruiter in the future how will you deal with the situation good so this is question number 71 that is what we are going to take it up now if 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 others want you can also go through that question once or twice if you want to note down some points please note down i will give you 2 minutes time i will give you 2 minutes time during which time you can note down the points you can similarly in the real gd also you can have a notebook or paper in that you write down the points and if you are lucky you may get one of the questions that is appearing on the uh, say our material given to you i find a few questions are being repeated yeah like the dragging and two three questions i you know i found uh, they were being repeated uh, uh, in this year but of course they are introducing new questions also for example from here only new questions started 49 anti ragging this was repeated um this question also repeated my today's gd topic you and your team there is no overtime wages that topic and um, then um, sir some the, of the topics have repeated with slight changes slight yeah they do make yeah. small variation and then do it uh, but we can adjust it yeah yeah uh, this one this one not repeated 55 uh, i think this was repeated 55 was repeated then this um, hod 50 Six was repeated, fifty-seven. Not I have not seen. Then that also I have not seen. Next one, um, this one has repeated. That is disclosure of information. Then number sixty, social media content file. Yeah, same repeated. Then uh, CSR activity repeated. csr activity repeated this one i have not seen it repeated 62 63 not repeated 64 yes quite often sir repeated. 61 sir 61 actually got repeated that bank employee going yes no, no, the cash to a bank and acha 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 it repeated acha yes sir oh, it's repeated yes sir it's repeated 64 i saw repetition um that one this one um this also they give you in one form or other 65 then on day and you and uh, medic this one i have not seen it being repeated 66 emergency no yeah, yeah yeah this question repeated it seems that is you are handing over to work to somebody that somebody gives a wrong information that was repeated uh, freshers day i have not seen then um, district collector also i have not seen mm. this principal i think it floods i think it would have come once or twice that's good so now we are going to question number 71 now who would like to talk first please raise your hands so that i can ask you to contribute yeah first is namdu krishna start one minute to talk just you will tell your name um your degree and the place native place to which you belong okay sir or you tell like this, name native hmm. place and then degree you have done okay sir morning everyone i am nandu krishna yes from kollam district of kerala i have completed my post graduation in english language and literature from the university of kerala the given situation shows a grave problem within our universities here the college and the placement officer is facing a grave issue 
our students are actually leaving the job offers given by different companies to them. So there are many ways to tackle the issue. I think at first we have to sit and make a discussion with both the group, with the students and the companies, and we have to analyze their reasons and if possible, come up with a pattern that is actually involved in this particular issue. Number two, I think we can make a decision to reduce the number of job offers a person can hold at a particular point of time, maybe two, three or two. And then uh, we can actually set a time frame for a student to either accept or reject the job offer. Maybe that two to a three or four days in which the student should inform the company about their final decision so that the company can move up, move up with either the particular student or with the other student possible. So there will be a more frequent communication between the students, the college and the authorities of the company so that a smooth transformation will be happening between these three stakeholders. Thank you, sir. What is the position in your college that you studied? Were they insisting on one offer only or two, three offers? That for, of course, for, yeah. you, for you, there would not have been more uh, placements because English literature, yes, there would yes, not sir. have been more placements. Sir, moreover, I have completed in 2021. It was oh, COVID yeah. affected area. Acha, acha. At that time, nothing. Yes, Correct. Sir. Yes. Yeah, very good. Namdu Krishna. Then comes Atul. Okay. Good morning. My name is Atul James and I'm coming from Trivandrum. I've completed my master's in human resources management. So here as the placement officer, I'll call upon a meeting. I'll, uh, I'll talk with each potential candidate separately and uh, try to find out the reason behind them rejecting these offers. And these reasons will be communicated with the potential recruiters along with my deepest apologies. I will also bring about an improvisation in the placement policy. That is, I will not ban the candidates from holding multiple job offers, but if a candidate gets selected in a firm belonging to a specific sector, then he or she cannot sit for the selection process for a firm belonging to the same sector. That is, if a student gets selected to a company like Unilever, which belongs to the FMCG, then she, he or she cannot sit for the selection process for a firm like Eastern or Merry Boy like, uh, and the same uh, uh, and the like companies because these all belong to FMCG sector. So such a recruitment, such a uh, placement policy will be brought about. Thank you. Okay, then um, the, that was Redmi or somebody else what? Yours is appearing as Redmi or what? No. Oh, Redmi? Yes, sir. Yeah, Redmi. You speak. I think you are Tutukudi. Uh, Come on. Yeah. Myself, Aishwarya from uh, Tamil Nadu. I completed my graduation in electronics and communication engineering. Uh, in this uh, in this situation, the candidates are declining the job offers after accepting the offer. To address this issue, I will request the management to consider implementing a nominal commitment deposit from candidates upon accepting a job offer. This deposit could be refundable upon joining the organization. To avoid the frivolous behavior of candidates, if they declining the job, job offer and after accepting means, I will temporarily ban them to participate in future campus placement drives. And we can also implement a policy where students can accept only uh, one or two job offers. This prevents students from holding multiple job offers and declining them at the last moment. We need to educate students about the impact of their actions on both the uh, both their peers and the uh, uh, reputation of the college. Uh, by implementing the above rules and regulations, it benefits both the students, uh, recruiters, and the institute also. Thank you, sir. I couldn't follow. What did you say? What should we do now? Tell me. Sir, we can uh, implement a nominal commitment deposit from achha, students. Achha, achha. Oh, that one. Oh, uh, uh, and we can also uh, no, what ban is the... the uh, what, what is the advantage uh, in accepting a deposit? Because supposing you say 1,000 rupees, people will give 1,000 and they won't mind losing 1,000. 
if supposing you say 10,000 rupees, nobody will pay the money also. So, or some such thing. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what will be the effect? But in real GD, you will have opposition from other candidates. Mm -hmm. Okay. They, they will ask you like this. You must be able to react to them. Okay. 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 No, no, no. Good. You spoke well. Hari Shang. Next Thank is you. next is Sona Philip. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Good morning, everyone. Yeah. In this scenario, there are significant number of candidates are declining job offers and not join the organization. Initially, they accepted. As a placement officer, firstly, I will gather data and insights about the candidate who have declined job. I look, uh, there is any common reason for that. Secondly, I implement a timeline for candidate to make their decision after receiving jobs. This will help the recruiters plan uh, their uh, hiring process effectively. Thirdly, I will improve communication between candidates and recruiters. I make sure that each candidate have a clear idea about job role, uh, responsibility, uh, work culture uh, to the job they apply. I suggest the student that only interested candidate can attend to the interview. Otherwise, it may affect the opportunity of uh, other students. Uh, thank you, sir. No, but if you say that I, if I accept, attend an interview, I, I have to accept the offer made. And um, if that company's salary is going to be much lower or not comparable, then don't you think you are sealing my chances of getting success or say a better job offers in future? So I think you college people must allow us to accept at least two or three offers on hand. So out of these two or three, we will say, I will join one, one company. So some such questions will come for you when you go for a open discussion. Okay. Yeah. Dharani. Okay, Dharani. Come on. Yes, Dhar good Dharani. Morning, good morning. Yes, sir. Dhar Can I speak? Dha yeah, Dharani is scolding me. Sar is making me get up at 5.30. Huh? Correct? No, sir. No, sir. <laughs> Not like come, that, sir. Come on, speak. Dharani. Uh, good morning, everyone. I am Dharani from Tamil Nadu. I have completed my master's in business administration. Uh, here in this scenario, as a placement officer, I would take a decision with a concern to the reputation of uh, uh, that educational institution making changes in the policy regarding to the placement of the students. It's a crucial to empathize with the recruiter concern. They invest time, effort, resource in our recruitment process. And the students uh, uh, declining the offer, it will affect the organization plan and the perception of the institution also. So we arrange for the meeting with the students for the more informed edition and also highlight the importance of honoring the accepting orders, uh, sorry, offers, and the po potential consequence of the uh, declining offers also. As a placement officer, I, I, shall, be uh, I shall be consulted with the college management uh, for the amendment of placement policy, like uh, one student uh, only getting one job offer. After that, they are not eligible for the selection process. process so that all the other students can also have a chance to participate in the placement process and uh, uh, neglecting the other uh, uh, consequences. Thank you, sir. Very good. Shika? Shika. Okay, sir. Am I audible, sir? Yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. This is Shikha from Delhi. I have done graduation in economics honors from Delhi University. So in the described scenario, as a campus recruiter, uh, what I, as a placement officer, what I feel the major concern is that students are actually declining these offers. So here, I will first gather the feedback about what the actually students are not finding uh, exciting about the job offer or they are either going to pursue higher education. Second, I will take following course of action to uh, in this course. Firstly, I'll impose a fee for the participation of the students in campus recruitment to uh, make it screening of the genuine application. Secondly, I'll put a clause of bond agreement 
if the student signed this agreement they need to give their one to three years of their uh, career to the company they selected thirdly i will also try to make the salary structure more competitive fourth and the last is the black blacklisting of the students who are not going to join the uh, these offers because this is also kind of costing the company and having a negative impression on the campus recruitment process yeah that's my take sir hariya gokul das good morning everyone i am irc gokul das i am from thrissur kerala i have done my masters in chemistry in the situation as a placement officer i will first day uh, conduct a meeting with the uh, students that uh, are gone for recruitment and i will uh, advise them that not to accept the offer if you are not interested to go to that job and i will also sell, uh, tell them that uh, it it is affecting our college badly uh, our trust in the recruiters is losing now so uh, now the uh, college is taking a decision that we are going to set an offers of uh, each student can uh, accept an offer of uh, three uh, recruitment uh, uh, and i will also insist the recruiters to uh, start a bond system uh, so that they should uh, work in that company for two or more years thank you sir number 3 Yeah, uh, good morning, sir. Myself, Shridhar Namputri. I am from Ahmedabad, Gujarat. I have done my bachelor's in electronics and communication engineering. Uh, so, in this case, uh, the firstly, the first thing that I'd be doing is I'd be talking to the students. I'd get the, I'd understand their concerns. And the first course of action would be I would screen out or filter out certain students who are who are not interested in joining any company. They are only here to get a gist of the entire selection process. And uh, then I would rethink uh, the as a placement officer. I'd rethink the uh, play. Uh, the college policy of allowing students to hold multiple job offers um, i mean there are many colleges now they are only allowing students to go for uh, one job offer per student uh, we wouldn't go that far we would be allowing students to at max hold three job offers so that's something that i'll be doing and then i'll be talking to the recruiting companies uh, i would let them know that we are working on this area we are working on our we are rethinking our college policies so from the next year you won't be facing this issue so in this way i would win their confidence and ensure that they keep on visiting our campuses and uh, they they keep on uh, providing job opportunities to our students so yeah thank you sai lakshmi sorry divaka divakar thank you for the opportunity i'm divaka from tirupu tamil nadu as a placement officer i will firstly re restrict the companies for a single person like we can implement a rule like a student who selected in two companies uh did not permitted for at any other companies for that firstly we need to imp uh, make a list about companies that uh, which going to come for a future recruitment and uh, their roles uh, and their salaries and uh, so that student can easily final their decision to which to which company to they attend for their dream company and it is also beneficial for the less skilled students because in this current situation there is a lot of unemployment crisis this rule will bring uh, bring the job offer to less skilled person also if skilled persons get selected in all company and reject many of offers means there is a lot of unemployment people so so the college reputation will also go down uh, because a uh, lot of people did not get placed and uh, recruiter also uh, did not satisfy uh, so the rule should be make make a solution and uh, i also make another rule like uh, we can bring out the pay scale rule like if one person selected in a 20000 uh, job means he is not permitted to uh, attend the below 20000 the only permission is to uh, attend is above 20000 these kind of rules uh, implement only we can uh, sort out this issue thank you so much sri lakshmi good morning all uh, my name is sri lakshmi i'm from calicut kerala and i am an mtech graduate and i done my mtech in electronics and communication engineering as a placement officer i will take the situation very seriously because if the company is coming to college for uh, recruitment process is reduced then automatically the students who are getting job through the placement cell will also reduce so this will create a negative image in public about our college so automatically students preferring to join our college will also reduce this cannot be happen so first i will have a discussion with the students and i will listen to them why they are showing such an attitude and i will give them uh, awareness about this situation and then uh, i will change the policy that permit students can hold multiple job opportunities at a time 
and uh, I will change it as if a student is selected to a particular company, then he or she is not allowed to attend the uh, recruitment process of another company. And one more thing I will do is when a company is hiring, first I will conduct classes for students about that company and that uh, particular job. And I will give an awareness about this in students. So students will get a clear idea about the company and the job they are offering. So if a student is not interested in that particular company or job, then he or she can choose not to attend the recruitment process of that particular company. So Biksha. Good morning, sir. Yeah. Good morning, friends. I am Subhiksha from Salem, Tamil Nadu. I have completed my graduation in agriculture. Now, here as a, a placement officer of the education institution, I will first arrange a meeting and have a discussion why a number of can candidates selected are declining their offers. So here, after having the discussion, I have to be uh, both in favor of the tutors as well as the students. So I would suggest recruiters to make the selection process to be fast so that the students won't decline the offers. Uh, I will also make sure that students uh, should attend a maximum of three job offers only and choose the best one among others. Uh, as our institution's aim is, students should get placement in, uh, in any of the company and have a better future. Thank you. Now, you have studied BSc Agriculture, no? but I think in Karnataka ah, Bank, yes, you can apply for officer's post also. You know that? Uh, no, sir. Karnataka Bank Limited. There was a notification. Yeah. Now, for that, BSc Agriculture is eligible. BS, BA Law is eligible. BL okay, is okay. also eligible besides post-graduation. So, you can apply if you want. Think. Yes, sir. That, that is also sir. a good bank. Yeah. Yeah, sir. Distant okay. education is... Uh... Distance oh, education is uh, allowed or not allowed? Did you go through the advertisement? What did they yes. say? Yes, yes, uh, there is no such thing, sir. Me they have not they mentioned say? it. They have not mentioned means you can apply. Okay. That means correspond. Supposing you have studied correspondence, you can apply. Yeah. You can okay, apply. Sir. Nothing wrong. Only if they say advertisement says that, then only you should not apply. Then Anil Jeffy. Anil Jeffy. Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, everyone. I am Anandin Jeffy from Tamil Nadu. I completed my bachelor's degree in agriculture. In this scenario, as a placement officer of an educational institution, firstly, I will have a meeting with my students and I will know what are their job expectations. And I will also ha have a new policies of only one student can hold job, op uh, job offers of only three among the three, they should select only one and they should uh, sign a policy or they should sign uh, working in that company at least for six, six months. And I will also uh, have a talk with recruiters. This will not, uh, uh, in uh, this like situation will not come again and I will uh, save the name of our institution. Thank you, sir. Ivan Jelly. Shivan Jelly. Good morning, sir. Yeah. Sir, am I audible, sir? Yes, speak uh, loudly. I think there is uh, some sound behind you. So speak loudly. Yes, sir. Train is going on, sir. That's a train. So please speak loudly. Good morning, sir. Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Shivanjali. I am from Karimnagar, Telangana. Uh, I have studied my B.Tech graduation in civil engineering stream from JNTUH University. So in this situation, as a placement officer, uh, I would uh, I will try to assess the reasons behind this trend uh, because students are accepting the job offers but not actually joining, uh, uh, right? So I would like to consider reaching out the students to understand their concerns and also reasons for uh, not joining. And it could be whether related to job description or company culture or compensation or whatever the factors are there. Uh, I will try to consider them. And I will also try to take uh, this feedback to improve the recruitment process and make necessary adjustments to the to address such type of concerns. Thank you. 
Thank you. Now, I think all of you have spoken. Now, one boy has just now joined. What is his name? Some chapter. Just now. Somebody... So me too, just now joined, sir. Yeah, what is your May name? I? Surya, yeah. sir. Surya, speak, speak. Yeah. So, uh, question good number morning, 71. Everyone. 71. Okay, sir. Good morning, everyone. Myself, Surya. I am from Palakkad, Kerala. I have completed my MA in English from Igno University. So in this situation, uh, as a placement officer, what I will do is, uh, firstly, I will inquire about the, uh, inquire to the students uh, why they are not uh, joining the company. Maybe it is because of, they are not aware of uh, the company's uh, job role or the salary structure or after joining, they will inquire about. So I, I will give them classes before if uh, any company is going to recruit uh, recruit in the campus. So that will uh, make it possible by uh, giving classes to them. And also I will make a rule that only, uh, only three uh, company can, uh, sorry, sorry, only one person can join or attend uh, three company recruitment so it will it will give chance to other persons also thank you sir you have scored more than 60 percent in ma also yes sir like oh. uh last sim last uh, two subject result does not come yet uh -huh. in the first year i scored sir first two first first two like it is, uh, like it is yearly basis sir yeah, yearly basis. Yearly, uh -huh. you have scored more than 60%? Yes, sir. First year. Second yeah, year uh -huh. result has not come. Oh, yes. Okay, no problem. Good. Chaitanya. So can I apply for the Karnataka Bank, sir? Uh, like, no, we have, to check, not... we, we have to check the advertisement to find out as on mm -hmm. which date you must be holding your degree. Here, the... Um, uh, when is your result expected? In Delhi University and all, you can't expect, decide immediately, you know. Sometimes it comes correctly, sometimes it gets delayed. Uh, for last mm -hmm. year, how long did it take for the result? First year results? Two months, three like months? Like two months, yeah. Yes, sir. Year, this year, exam over? This year, I have uh, done on July, June, sir. And then uh, two subject results uh, came July itself. So I oh. think... Yeah. One, another two more to be to be released. Yes. Or, oh, they they give results separately also for subject wise. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, that was conducted earlier, so they declared it earlier. Whatever mm -hmm. it is, that's okay. Fine. Now, mm -hmm. um, now, see uh, here. The question is: When you talk like this in the open discussion, when you go. There will be uh, points favoring your stand and opposing your stand also. Let us see how that goes now. Now, uh, you can talk for 10 minutes. You can talk for 10 minutes and uh, one minute. I will just uh, stop this and restart. I'll just, uh, one minute. I'll just stop this.